Hi, my name is Dingo. I'm 19 years old, 165 pounds, and 6 foot 1 inches. I have an average diet that is not as healthy as it could be, but not as bad either. Over the last two weeks, I've kept track of everything that I've eaten and drank. In this report, I will explain what I learned about my diet from the data I collected and how I've come to the diet that I have today. Also, I will tell how my grandparents say it and exercise differently than we do today and how I can improve my lifestyle. When I was a kid, there wasn't much eating out. We would always eat home-cooked meals. I pretty much always had cornbread, green beans, and mashed potatoes in somewhere. Whenever we did eat out, I was ecstatic because I just love to get something different. So I really am glad that my parents didn't take us out to eat a lot, or I might be overweight and have an awful diet today. As I grew older, we did eat out more due to friends, school functions, and getting my driver's license. I ate out at least once a week and then believed that it wasn't that bad to change up my diet. When I got my first job is when I started eating out more, to, more due to missing dinner or being out late. This created the diet I have today where I like to eat out so much and eat late at night. I started eating out at least five times a week and lost a lot of my exercise time due to working at Walmart, which didn't require much physical labor. I also learned that me having money to blow wasn't always a good thing since a lot of it did go to eating out at Wendy's, McDonald's, and Sonic. Now that I'm in college, I don't eat out nearly as much as I did and eat a lot healthier due to cafeteria serving healthy items every meal. I do eat at Chick-fil-A for lunch a lot, but this still doesn't cover what I was eating before college. I've also learned that the cafeteria food is very good. It tastes just like you're eating out in a good restaurant. Plus, you get something different every day instead of having the same thing over and over. As a child, I was always active, whether it was sports or working on the farm with Grandpa. I stayed in shape year-round and was outside almost always. As time went on, I grew and continued to go outside a lot and played sports up until ninth grade. After I quit playing sports, I got a job mowing lawns for anybody who wanted me to, so that kept me in shape for that entire summer. About my 11th grade year, I did start to lose a lot of my muscle and my eating habits were getting worse. That was the year the school allowed off-campus lunch if your grades were good enough, so I was eating out every day for lunch at pretty unhealthy places. We moved that year to Dover, Arkansas, and that motivated me to eat a little better due to the fact that I was not as in shape as I once was. During the school year, I got a job at Walmart, so that took away from my working out time quite a bit. That summer, I started at a company called DC Trash and threw trash all summer. This kept me in pretty good shape and allowed for me to work out while I worked for money. Since coming to college, I don't get nearly as much exercise as I did over the summer, but I do get more than I did while in high school due to health and fitness class and having to walk around campus to get to my classes. While at college, I've also learned that I need to start a good workout program that I continue even after I'm out of college in the real world. When I was a kid, I remember one dish that Grandma always, would always go on and on about. She was always talking about chocolate gravy and biscuits. She would make us a whole pan of it every morning for breakfast whenever I stayed over. It was a thing that only she could make right, even if restaurants and such are trying to make it now. It was one of those things that when she was a kid, her and her siblings thought it was a big deal to see their mom cooking a pot of it. it. Made me realize that there was a lot of food back in the day that was hard to come by, even if it's not so hard today. Grandma also tells me that when they were kids, more than likely what they were eating had been fried. This tells me that kids then got a lot more home-cooked meals than they do nowadays. From the stories that I've heard from Grandpa and Grandma, kids back then were in much better shape due to the kind of work they had to do. Grandpa told me stories of him working before he went to school, and then in the afternoon him going out in the field with his dad at work till dinner time. On the first day of my project, I learned that I drink a lot of sodas, such as Dr. Pepper and Coke. Also, that I don't eat as much as I should in a day if I have a lot to do and it has to get done. I also learned that I eat more sweets when I'm under pressure, such as Skittles and Donut Sticks. The project continued like this until I had turned in all my due homework and got used to college life. After that, I started eating too much, and while the cafeteria food was a good portion of it, I was eating unhealthy snacks all day. There was also the fact that I was eating all the time, at weird times, such as 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, when I had no time to burn it off. Toward the end of my research, I could tell just from looking at the data that I have a pretty bad tendency to stop and get something to eat whenever I go out for just about anything. I learned that there are times when I eat way too much at once and need to control myself better. Throughout this project, I figured out just how much my diet depends on my stress levels at the time and how I will eat too much when I'm laid back and how I won't eat enough when I'm stressed. 
To improve my lifestyle, I decided to make a list of what I could do to better my diet and exercise. I'm going to start eating more fruits and vegetables, seeing how there is a shortage of them on my data. I'm going to limit myself to eating out only twice a week and leaving the cafeteria more instead of the student center. The exercise program will consist of going to the high for at least four times a week and working out for at least an hour at a time. I hope that by doing this I can improve my standard of eating and my exercise lifestyle. I hope that by doing all this, that in the future I will be in much better shape and living a much healthier lifestyle. By doing this project, I know that I need to better control myself and make my diet choices more wisely. I know that I need to make sure I eat enough when I am stressed, and that I control how much I eat when I am laid back and have no stress. This project also helped me see that I need to plan a diet plan that I can start now and continue even after college. I also need to start a workout plan that I can continue out of college and learn to do it every day if possible. The biggest thing I learned from this project, though, is I need to start doing all this now before I wake up and I'm overweight and out of shape one day. This project has taught me a lot about myself and how I'd like to live my life so that it's better in the future.